chat. This is my favorite story time. Under the bed in my secret fort, and I'm gonna read. <laughs> How to get off of Santa's naughty list. What? Santa has a naughty list? Oh, it's my favorite story by Sir Herbert Sneakies. Ah, oh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And make sure you subscribe and give us five stars. And thank you for generous donations to PayPal, PetCareBuddies at gmail.com. Wiley. Oh, he's begging to tell me what, how wonderful I am, and what great Christmas presents I'm going to get this year. <laughs> so I ripped up the envelope, and it's from the C the head elf at Santa's workshop. His name is Edmund McDuff. Oh, wow. Oh, hello, Wiley. This is to let you know you are on Santa's naughty list. What? I'm on Santa's naughty list? What? It must be a mistake. No. I kept reading the letter. You have two weeks to correct this behavior so the elves have enough time to work and make your toy. Your present must be finished and gift wrapped in time to go into Santa's sack. His sled is scheduled to depart for his world toy drop off at 12 midnight Christmas Eve. Any toys that are not gift wrapped in our world famous Christmas paper are not allowed to go into this toy sack. Our top priority is good kids. We make sure every good boy and girl gets their Christmas wish. In other words, you're pretty much doomed and won't be getting a present for Christmas. Sincerely, Edmund McDuff, head elf at Santa's workshop, the North Pole. Oh, oh gosh, I couldn't believe what I was reading. How did I get on Santa's naughty list? And how am I going to get off the naughty list? I have only two weeks. Oh my gosh. So I was in my room and I looked at my room. Well, my bed was unmade and toys were scattered everywhere. Oh, I know. I'll quickly make my bed and put all my toys away. Yeah, 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 there you go. Oh, I'll organize my box alphabetically. Yeah, from A to Z. A as in awesome, B as in uh, better. And oh yeah, okay. Oh, I found an old pizza slice under the desk. <laughs> How'd I miss that when I was snacking? Probably playing a video like Minecraft, and I was so distracted. Oh, here's a stinky old donut crumb. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, and this cheese is all moldy. Oh gosh, I had so many papers and stuff. Oh, oh, my room looks quite quite nice. Oh, I even had time to finish my homework. Oh, homework. Oh. So I went to my computer, and I worked on my Christmas story, and I sent in all my homework. I did my math and my algebra and history. Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. And English grammar. I sent it all through. Cluck, cluck, cluck. I did all my homework, all my Zoom homework, all my computer homework. Done, done, done. Oh, okay, so what next? What next? Two weeks. Oh, I looked at my watch. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, the time, the time. So I went in the kitchen, and my mom was working on dinner. I know, I can ask her what she needs done around the house. Oh, I hate helping around the house. Oh, I, So, she was busy making lasagna. Smells good, Mom. Thanks, Wiley. You look nice, Mom. Thanks, Wiley. Wiley, do you have a temperature? No. Can I do anything for you, Mom? You sure you don't have a temperature? How about I take out the trash? Oh, thanks, Wiley. I took the trash outside and then came back inside. My mom had all kinds of mixing bowls on the table. She poured flour, sugar, and eggs into a bowl and whisk, 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 and stir, stir, stir. And then my little sister, Lily, came up. And she was dressed in a roughly super pink girly dress. Oh, um, gee, TikTok, I'm a fashion blogger. She even had reindeer antlers on. It made no sense fashion sense. Oh my gosh. What are you making, Mom? I'm making sugar cookies and icing to decorate the cookies. You want to help your little sister decorate them? No way. I, I, I mean, sure. I don't want the elves to hear that I'm mean to my little sister. Uh, you help me make a Santa, Wiley, Lily said. <laughs> she was putting pink icing on Santa's famous red suit. I mean, how could she 
put pink. Everyone knows Santa's outfit is red with black boots. Oh, gosh. And Christmas trees are green, not pink. Oh, my gosh. She'll probably even color the reindeers pink. No one will be able to recognize Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer the way she's painting. Oh, I'll help you decorate a snowman and a Santa. Oh, great, Wiley. After all, it's the holiday spirit that counts. We finished decorating the cookies and my mom put a tray of colorful cookies into the oven. I heard a bell ring. Ding, 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 ding. It was a pleasant, nice sound, but I looked around. I didn't see any bell. So the dog walked into the room and looked at me. He looked at me with those big, doughy arms. Get someone else to walk you. The dog Charlie looked at me again with his hypnotizing eyes. Okay, okay, I'll take you. I took one of the cookies that were done and put it in my coat pocket. This cookie was the perfect Santa. He had a red hat with a white pom-pom, black boots, and a red outfit, just the right amounts of white, red, and green. He was the perfect Santa Christmas cookie. We walked outside and the snow was falling. Charlie walked fast as he was on a trail of another dog. Up ahead was Stinky Bobby. None of the kids at school liked him. He always wore the same old clothes, so the kids teased him and called him Stinky Bobby, Stinky Bobby, Stinky Bobby. <laughs> I tried to avoid contact. Otherwise, Stinky Bobby would rope you into a long conversation. <coughs> Hi, Wally. <coughs> Busted. He saw me. Hi, Bobby. You sick or something? <coughs> yeah, I have a little cold. <coughs> but Merry Christmas, Wally. Oh, see you later, Bobby. Hey, wait. I got something for you, Wally. Stinky? You have a gift for me? What? He was holding a small box wrapped in newspaper with a string around it and a green leaf for a bow. You didn't have to do that. It was probably a dead bug, so I really didn't want it. Here, tank it. Okay, thanks, 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 Bobby. But he didn't have anything for him, and then I remembered my cookie. Oh, my perfectly decorated Santa cookie. I don't know what made my hand reach into my pocket, but my hand took my cookie and gave it to Stinky Bobby. Stinky was so happy and took my cookie and ate a bite. I'll be stuck eating pink crooked Santas my sister made. A cookie! Wow! Thank you, Wally! I can't believe you remembered me! Willie, you're the best friend anyone could have! I've been so lonely ever since I've been sick with this awful cold! <coughs> Nobody wants to play with anyone who has a cold! I have my mouth covered, and I have my, my gloves on, and I've been tested, and I'm, I'm, I didn't, I'm, I'm pos I'm not positive, I'm negative! I'm very healthy, just I have this little cold! Oh boy, this cookie is delicious! Merry Christmas, Stink! I mean, Bobby! I heard a bell ring. Ding, 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 dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. It was such a pleasant, friendly bell ringing. I looked around, but no one was ringing the bell. I walked my dog, and we headed home. Bobby was so happy, I kept remembering the smile on his face. I wonder what was in his present. I opened it up in a Pokemon trading card. Ah, really cool. That was probably his treasured possession that he gave me. Aw. I walked inside to the width of my house. My mom was taking out the lasagna from the stove. Can you set the table, Wally? Oh, Mom, why do I always have to do it? Why can't Lily do it? <gasps> and then it stopped. What if the elves heard me? I mean, yes, of course, Mom. Did I ever tell you thanks for being a great mom? I put out the dishes for Mom, Dad, me, and my sister. I even put out Charlie's dish and fed Charlie. My mom looked at me feeding the dog. Are you sure you don't have a fever? Nope. The table was set and Mom put out the lasagna and a, and a big roasted chicken. She even made vegetables too, green beans and mashed potatoes. Dad walked in. Can I take your coat, Dad? My dad looked at me like he didn't recognize me. Are you my son? Yeah, Dad. It's me, Wiley. I took his coat and put it away. I heard a bell strike three times. Ding dong, ding dong, ding ding, ding ding, dong dong. We ate a grand dinner. I put all the dishes up and washed them without even asking my mom. My mom and dad just looked at me as if I were an alien. We watched Christmas Story and I was about to head upstairs. Yeah, night mom and dad. I went to bed and went to sleep. I had two weeks to get off the naughty list. 
So the next day I woke up, I fixed my bed, I brushed my teeth, I did my homework, and I did good things every single day, and the time was ticking. Oh, but there was no letters in the mailbox. I haven't heard from the elf. Oh no. Would I get off the naughty list or would I be doomed this Christmas? It was two weeks, my last day and my last chance to get off the Santa's naughty list. I went downstairs and decided to make my mom and dad breakfast. I made waffles. I put heaps of butter and syrup and got out orange juice and made, and made, oh yeah, blueberry muffins. I brought it to my mom and dad's room. They looked at me. Thanks, Riley. Thanks. That is so wonderful. Is he your son? I don't know. I ran downstairs and took Charlie for a walk and picked some wildflowers. Oh, I saw Jasmine up ahead, the most beautiful girl in school. Oh, I wanted her to have these flowers so she could think of me and it asked me to prom. Then I saw Mrs. My teacher, Miss Krabs. Oh, I had a duck. Oh no, she spotted me. Oh, Wiley, you finish your report early and I have to tell you, your Christmas story about the pink Santa was very interesting. It was very sad when his head got eaten by the menacing short green elf. Oh, he was terrible, that elf. Man, oh man, he actually scared me. I couldn't believe the elves could be so mean. So I gave her the flowers I picked. Oh, Wiley, why, thank you. Merry Christmas, Miss Krabs. I went home and my little sister wanted to play beauty school. No way. She started to cry. Ah, Wally won't play with me. Oh, no, wait, shh, shh, shh. The elves can hear. They're probably listening right now. Oh, no, please don't cry, Lily. Please don't cry, Lily. Ah, are you going to play with me? Uh, uh, okay, okay. All right, okay, sit down in the chair. She took her bro brush and comb and started brushing my hair. And next thing I knew, I had hair curls in my hair and had pink lipstick on. My mom walked in to peek and she started laughing. I looked up with my curlers in my hair and bright green eyeshadow. You look terrific, Wiley, my mom said. <laughs> I think my sister has a career as a hairdresser. <laughs> and my mom said, a letter came in for you today. I looked at the letter. I said, thanks, Mom, and it ran up to my room. It was from the North Pole. Oh, I wonder. Dear Wiley, congratulations. You are off the naughty list and are on Santa's good list. We have a special toy for you this year. We want to make your wish come true this year. It will be the best present ever. P.S. When you write stories about a green elf, can you make me a tall elf? And can you give me a different color besides green? I'm always wearing green and red. I mean, like, try black blue or purple. It's so majestic. You know, I'm a short elf, and I would love my character and your stories to be really tall. And if I could have a good side, that would be really great. Hint, hint. Sincerely, Santa staff and head elf Edmund McDuff, the North Pole. <gasps> I'm off the naughty list. I'm getting a present for Christmas. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. I ran downstairs and hugged my mom and dad and even my little sister. Mom, Dad, I love you. We love you too, Wiley. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from Sir Herbert Sneakies, Lady Twizzledon, and Marilyn Abria. Thank you for making us a top podcast all around the world. <laughs> and thank you for generous donations to PayPal, PetCareBuddies at gmail.com. And thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And thank you for your five-star reviews. The end. Happy New Year!